Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group.
I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to... lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight, one you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them because they're in for one very long phase. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. 
but he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it, and then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever, and we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off, then ran up to the attic to look through our photos, to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried, and she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted, I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone.
The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't, she couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it the army and being a part and all of it and so she got off the bus in Salem she said Sam I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me and let's just drive until we find somewhere for us and she asked me if I could do that and I said yes yes Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did and that you won't be sad and you won't hate me and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam.
Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough of Gone Home. It's uh, it's quite a good one. Um, the game itself I thought was good. The only thing that was disappointing was the fact that uh, it was too short of a game. I mean, um, I think the game was uh, retailing for like fifteen ninety nine. I got it for free uh, through the PlayStation Network, uh, PlayStation Plus. They give a game out free each month. Well, they give three games out free for each month, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, so I thought I'd try it, try it out. I've heard uh, some good reviews about it. I thought the game was uh, good, like I said. It was a bit eerie uh, in some places. You're thinking that somebody's going to jump out on you or, you know, but, um, yeah, it's quite creepy when you find all the secret passages. It's like if that was my house, I'd, I never knew that there was any secret passages and randomly there's, like, hallways through the walls, I'll be like, fucking hell, what the fuck is this shit? But, um, no, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the um, walkthrough, and hopefully I'll see you in uh, the other walkthroughs. Um, like I said, I've got a few more that are coming out, uh, so keep an eye out. Um, the channel's been up to date. Uh, I've been progressing, you've probably seen, uh, a lot of new uh, shit that I've uploaded. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm just trying to update it fully, um, get all the videos that I had already uh, backlogged for like months and months and months and months. So I've just grabbed all those videos and plonked them all up. And then I'll, uh, once that's all done, I'll regularly do videos each week, uh, like I said, way, way before. But not to worry. hope you guys enjoyed uh, the walkthrough. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you didn't, well... The that's fine, because it is kind of boring, but, um, you know, some, it can be quite interesting, I guess, I don't know, um, depends, 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 um, so yeah, please subscribe as well, and I'll see you in the next video, pa-chow! Yeah.